Kirk Duckwell here with Mastermind the Market Real Estate Stats for the Twin Cities area. Buyers, your time may be coming. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll get into that in just one second. But first, make sure you click on the subscribe button. We know that knowledge is power, and the more knowledge that you have about our Twin Cities real estate market, the more that you can leverage that to your advantage. So again, click on that subscribe button. All right, let's dive into the data. Showings per week, per listing, median sale price range, Minneapolis, St. Paul, 200 to 400K, down week over week. That's the second week running of that. So we're seeing some positive light for buyers out there that the competition is just starting to ease a little bit. All right, so it was an 8.6 a few weeks ago, down to an 8.57, now down to an 8.5. 0.03. And the total number of showings week over week is down as well. It's from 3324 to 2971. That said, we are still tracking ahead of last year by 9%. So it's still a very strong market out there. Pending sales also dropped back a little bit, down 3.6%. However, Total listing inventory still down. More homes are selling than were available. So we're down 42.3%. Now, interest rates also started to jump up a little bit. From our resident mortgage geek, Chad Preby at Bell Bank Mortgage, the bond prices started to drop and interest rates started to creep up. So the recommendation is to lock if you have a contract out there. So yeah, it was at a 2.73 up to a 2.81 and it started to creep up even more for today, February 22nd. All right, so all of this information, where does this put us? Market meter creeping up still at that 10. It's going to take a little while with how low rates are and how low the inventory is, even with the showings per listing going down a little bit. We're still at that extreme seller's market, but we are seeing some trends showing maybe some light at the end of the tunnel that we are going to ease into more of a normal seller's market and it's going to take a long time probably before we get to that balanced market. Um, we're probably, you know, if we get there, it's probably going to be a June, July, August time frame. Uh, and, and we'll see if the inventory even gets us to that point. So for buyers, my recommendation is if you can still be patient, if you have the time, things are going to get better. More listings are coming on. Um, it may be not as many buyers are out there. We'll just keep an eye on the trends as to the pending sales. For sellers, though, it is still an extremely good seller's market. So anything that I'm saying, these are just early signs. Um, but that said, if you wait too long, uh, you may find yourself in a market that you're not able to capitalize as much. Hopefully you found this information beneficial. As always, you can reach out with any questions. Take care, be safe, and have a great week.